Hello folks, today is Friday, October 23rd, 2020. Can you believe it's Friday again? It's me, Jake, here to talk about all the video game news that has been going on this week. Like I've been saying, it is ramping up. The fall season of gaming is crazy, so we got a lot to talk about, so let's just jump in. The first thing is actually, believe it or not, if you've been watching, my prayers have seemingly been answered. We're getting custom PS5 faceplates, at least as long as this site ships. So what we got uh, is a site debuting shipping actual PlayStation 5 faceplates. According to PlayStation Lifestyle, they started as just kind of uh, giving people a matte black option since everybody wanted a matte black type of thing. And now they have multiple options like a red uh, camouflage, if that's your thing. And uh, these look like they could be pretty cool the way, as we know now, the PlayStation 5's side can just snap off and you can replace it with this. They're 40 bucks on their site. I think their site might be legit. I, I hope. Be careful. I don't know. But it is cool to see someone being smart and savvy and already taking advantage of this possibility because as soon as that was revealed, people were like me were like, oh my god, PlayStation 5 faceplates. Think of the possibilities. This does lead to an interesting conversation. We want to hear from you guys in the comments. Uh, if you are picking up one of these which one is it going to be? Is it the chrome one, the matte one, the red one? I want to hear from you. And also, uh, like we've said in the past, like I want to hear like what is your dream faceplate swap option? I'm ironic and stupid, so I want a faceplate for the PS5 that looks like one of the original tacky Xbox 360 faceplates. But anyway, moving on, another big story this week is an interview uh, with Phil Spencer. This is via Kotaku, and it is Phil Spencer, the Xbox head, going on record talking more about the... Uh, Bethesda ZeniMax acquisition, as you guys probably know and remember. Wow, uh, holy shit, Xbox had purchased ZeniMax, Bethesda, and everything under it for billions of dollars, and there has been a lot of speculation as to whether or not Bethesda games are going to go exclusive in the future once all current agreements are honored with certain games that they will publish on PS5, still like Deathloop. After that, are we going to see stuff like Starfield or the next Elder Scrolls on PlayStation or is Xbox gonna keep it all to themselves? There's been various rumors and statements and people speculating either way, but we still don't know for sure. And now we have Phil Spencer saying this. In the interview, they asked him, is it possible to recoup a $7.5 billion investment if you don't sell Elder Scrolls 6 on the PlayStation? And apparently Phil Spencer quickly replied, yes. But I wanna read the full quote because the context is important here. The explanation makes it seem like it's still kind of up in the air. I don't wanna be flipping about that. You know, this deal was not done to take games away from another player base like that. Nowhere in the documentation that we put together was, how do we keep other players from playing these games? We want more people to be able to play games, not fewer people. But I'll also say in the model, I'm just answering directly the question that you had, and I think that part's the most important. When I think about where people are going to be playing and the number of devices that we had, and we have xCloud and PC and Game Pass in our console base, I don't have to go ship those games on any other platform other than the platforms that we support in order to kind of make the deal work for us, whatever that means. So he said that whatever that means, I think he's being intentionally a little vague here. He's expressing confidence in the fact that like they think that it could technically do well on its own, not putting it on other, other platforms. That's just being confident in the thing he works for, I guess. But then also turning it back around saying whatever that means. I, I don't know, man. Again, it's an interview. It's a higher up. You can only go so far with this type of stuff. We have to see what they do more than anything. Action is the thing, and we'll know when games start coming out, like when Starfield comes out. We'll see if they put it on all platforms or just Microsoft-owned platforms. It's up to interpretation, though. Still, people argue on the internet about it every day. Let's see what happens. I want to hear from you guys, though. In other news, just a little inside baseball if you're interested. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 was like one of my most anticipated games. I thought it looked awesome, the little glimpses that we have seen. Has been having some issues lately uh, with creative heads leaving the project. Another lead member of the narrative team, Kara Ellison, has left the studio and got a new job somewhere else. And this follows up a narrative designer and a creative director being fired from the project. So the big question a lot of people are asking is, what the hell's going on here? I don't want to speculate too much because this is people's jobs and people change jobs all the time and things happen. These things get complicated and messy, but maybe there's some sort of disagreement in terms of where the narrative is going to go. I don't know, but I'm just putting this out there because a lot of people have been uh, tagging me in these articles. Fingers crossed, I'm always rooting for a good game, no matter what, so hopefully this all gets resolved. Now in other news, actually some video game movie news. I, I usually save these for the second half of the video, but I thought this was interesting. I wanted to bring it up here. We got our first look 
at Tom Holland playing Nathan Drake in the Uncharted movie. They are shooting it. Uh, we, here he is in full costume. And uh, yes, that very much looks like a Nathan Drake type person. I think he's a little too young for the role, but I also, you know, enjoy him as an actor. So let's see what we got here. His, his shirt is not like half tucked in and I have a huge problem with that, but everything else seems kind of on point. You know, the ring, all that, the hair, they could have done it a little differently. I think it's a little too long, but I'm nitpicking. Uh, there's a lot, of course, riding on this. Sony has a lot of money behind this project. Nolan North actually visited the set and he posted photos, which I thought was really interesting and very unexpected, but also really cool. I really wonder what they're doing here. Uh, either way, I'm still more optimistic about this than the Monster Hunter movie. I don't really think that looks great, but I also just can't help but see the people involved in it and just cringe. Honestly, I'm fine with whatever with Nathan Drake. Like, honestly, yes, I get the people saying that it should be Nathan Philly, and I totally understand that. But my biggest issue with the casting is Mark Wahlberg playing Sully and seemingly not having a mustache. I take massive issue with that. Why, why am I getting so serious? This is like the first time I've gotten serious about something. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you guys the picture and show you a side-by-side -side because it's a very Uncharted 3 look. What do you guys think? In other news, though, uh, Hideo Kojima is officially working on his next game. Kojima Productions is staffing up for a new game. We don't really know much other than that, but it made headlines this week, and it is pretty exciting. I hope it's something else new and creative and weird and try something different, just like Death Stranding did. I think we need more games just kind of trying stuff. Even if you didn't like it, I just, you know, I totally value those types of things. And since we are on the topic of Hideo Kojima, check out these out you guys know that we freaking really love sneakers here thank you for the people that sent me this jordan vote roberts the guy who is uh the director of kong skull island and apparently still working on the metal gear solid film commissioned somebody to make these sick air jordans the ones and it is in the style of yoji shinkawa's art from the original metal gear solid games and i want to cry these look insane they are perfect they are probably one of the most perfect things I've ever seen. I would sell my TV and my PlayStation and my Xbox just to have a pair of these. Anyway, that means nothing. I digress. Let's move on. Next up, this episode is brought to you by our longtime sponsor, ExpressVPN. Now, we're all online 24-7. Don't lie, I know you definitely are. And because we're all connected constantly, it's important to know and understand VPNs. ExpressVPN helps keep your information private from internet service providers and advertisers. ExpressVPN also gives you protection from DDoS attacks by switching your true IP, which is kind of like your internet phone number, over to one of their own so it can keep you anonymous and safe from online attacks while you're gaming or browsing. Personally, I know when I play online, I don't want my response time slowed down by some outside force. It's super easy to set up. It's under $7 a month once you count our three months free promo and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So take back your internet privacy today and find out how you can get three months free by going to the link in the description or the link on here on screen. It's expressvpn.com slash game ranks. And thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring our videos. Thank you. But now let's link some stuff down in the description. All the to stories I talk about are linked down there, but uh, there's also some stuff you should get caught up on. The first is uh, from Sony's site. Uh, some cool new stuff on Miles Morales, a little information on the game and some cool visuals if you're on a browser. Uh, and also some good new juicy high res screenshots and some, some look at some new suits. I'm very, very excited for this game. Of course, I love Spider-Man, so I'm super biased. Uh, we also got a new trailer for Little Nightmares 2. Uh, this is a Halloween-y type trailer. Uh, the game is releasing in February. I was hoping it would squeeze in for Halloween, but still, this trailer uh, and Little Nightmares 2 in general looks downright incredible. I'm going to be playing through the original this weekend for sure. We also got a look at Rambo in Mortal Kombat 11. We talked about the reveal, but now we got to look at him fighting, his moves, his fatality, and I'm all about it. Sylvester Stallone is voicing him. I love Rambo. I love pretty much everything NetherRealm has been doing in terms of character reveals for Mortal Kombat games and Injustice games. Even if it takes me a while to go back and play the game and jump into new characters again, I still just can't can't help but enjoy and get excited over every reveal. They're so entertaining, and Rambo looks pretty awesome, especially his different costume variations. Shout out to the Rambo One Poncho. Also, in case you're interested in some next-gen goodness, uh, we got a video breaking down Godfall's, like, progression systems. A uh, lot of detail here. If you are curious, I will be completely 100% honest. If you guys think I'm too nice about things, 
I am not excited for Godfall at all. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. There are many other things I'm looking forward to on PlayStation 5, but this one, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm hoping it's good, but it just doesn't really speak to me yet. Now in other news, a sports game strikes again with in-game ads. Once again, the issue has been raised about games playing real ads at you in a game and people are pissed. This time again, it's NBA 2K21. Uh, somebody took to Reddit to express uh, the fact that they are like broadcasting these crazy um, Oculus Quest 2 ads in game. Apparently like it's like at the tail end of a loading screen, but it's still unskippable and it really bothered people because it's ads in a $60 game. Totally understand that. UFC also recently had a problem with this. 2K has come out and kind of apologized, but not really apologized for the ads, but just the way they were implemented, which like, uh. They've had issues with this for a while. It seems like every month or so or every year, like annually, uh, an NBA 2K game or one of the 2K games pisses people off in terms of how it monetizes things or advertises things. And uh, yeah, guys, please fix that. And some last minute next generation updates. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Xbox has announced that Xbox Series X is going to have a fully cranked out Master Chief Collection, 120 frames per second. That is something I think to look forward to if you are going to be getting a Series X and um, more than likely just playing old games or playing backwards compatible games and, and checking out how the tech has improved. That's what we've been doing here with the unit we've been testing. And also in case you missed it on social media this morning, a lot of video game websites and, and uh, streamers and, and different types of outlets have gotten their hands on PlayStation 5s. They are out in the wild, review units, are in the wild. We, you get to see the retail packaging. You get to see the full box. People have shown uh, the pictures of the back of the box, the bottom of the box, everything included in the box. So I expect a lot more coverage should be coming soon. That is something to look forward to very much. Full disclosure, we don't have our hands on one yet. We do have a Series X, but we don't have a PlayStation 5. We're going to be covering them both equally. Even if that means we get our hands on a PlayStation 5 a little late because they didn't send us one, no hard feelings. We're going to be taking a look and putting out tons of videos on both. And honestly, I don't know about you, I am so freaking excited for all this crazy stuff. Can I get a woo? Woo! But that is some Friday show news, some stuff to get you caught up on the week. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments, everything next gen, of course, uh, cyberpunk. We didn't actually talk about a cyberpunk news story for once this week, but are you excited? Um, also, PlayStation 5 faceplates, is that your type of thing? Series X with Master Chief. Uh, also, Phil Spencer talking about it. What are you thinking on that stuff? Are you crazy like me and you want the Metal Gear shoes? Are you out of your mind? Are you just a consumerist zombie like me? Uh, have you experienced these unfortunate ads in a 2K game? Let's talk about anything. Video game news going on this week. Any stories we didn't include. Let's talk about all this down in the comments. Like I say, things get a little crazy down there. We try to reply when we can, but if you want to yell at me directly or send me any uh, tips for stories or anything for next week, Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino and YouTube.com slash Jake Baldino. But my friends, thank you very much for coming around. Around. It's our favorite thing to do during the week. So thank you for being here. Clicking the like button does legit help us. Thank you. And if you're new, maybe consider subscribing, hit that notification bell because we put out videos every single day. But I'm here every Friday. Catch me on the before you buy videos. I'm Jake Baldino. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Pizza's on me.